started with minus two for my right eye, minus one, 1. 1.75 for my left eye. So I, I stopped thinking consciously about, okay, taking care of my myopia because I don't feel like there's any myopia anymore. How um, long did that take total, would you say? I feel like it's been three years. You know, I also did a lot of active focus and I, I constantly do it. So now I have this, like this reading stool, it, uh, you know, where I put my books and it's always two meters away. When some friend comes over, we read something. Uh, he always gets closer and he says, why, why are you doing this to you? And I just got used to reading this far away because I read so much and I need it. So, you know, I started to know myself, to know what creates spasm for me, what is okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I realized, well, I, I did so little, like anyone can do it because I did so little. I could have, you know, dropped, I could have, you know, after I started stargazing, which is a recent hobby of mine, it's one year. So I, I, I realized, wow, you can actually see the stars. And, you know, there's this little tricks, like you learn, there's like the Pleiades are very little. And you, I, I was just trying to, you know, check my vision with the Pleiades. They're like some stars grouped together, but they're very little like this on the sky. So you have to distinguish how many of them are there. Because, you know, it was, people were debating this from antiquity. Like, how many stars can you see there? There are seven. No, there are 10. So I was trying to see how many I can see. And also in the, in the Big Dipper, one of the stars is actually, there's two stars. And they're so closely packed together that you can barely see it. And it was the, the vision test in antiquity. People would test their vision. Can you see that? Yeah. And once I started seeing it, I was, oh, this thing works. Because, <laughs> because right, you never realize how, how much progress you're making. As, as I was doing all this stuff, you know, you have, I had a month. It was great. I felt, wow, I can see much more than before. But then, you know, something would happen and I would think, well, I'm back to where I was. I, I didn't make any progress. Maybe this thing does not work. Uh, and I think it's just me because, right, I try to think so much about this stuff. And then, you know, I think it's the way your brain tells you it's enough. Just give it a break. It's, <laughs> so uh, it, it's true that anybody can do it. Like the, the the premise is super simple, right? Like you do not need a giant website and a bazillion silly videos. It's just the mindset and the persistence that people don't necessarily have you know like you said you're stubborn like the the desire to read and understand a thing we all work different like some people like playing guitar and i'm not saying gu guitar players do or don't like to research also but maybe your interest is in a different direction and your brain is more molded towards a different kind of pursuit right so for somebody to go i'm going to check out the science of this you know maybe not for somebody then plus that website and myopia is pretty terrible and my sense of humor is questionable right like and you put all those things together and you like video games uh, now it becomes not a thing anymore that anybody can do because they don't have all the pieces that luckily you do right like stubbornness liking to research making the appropriate adjustments in your lifestyle sticking with it through times that maybe you're not as confident and continuously using that distance vision eyesight in that case yeah i mean the success rate, in my mind at least, is somewhere near 100% if you have those attributes. Given up one hour of reading per day to be out, but I, I never want to do this because I study so many languages and I always want to assign some time for each of them every day. And then I end up, okay, I have to only go out for an hour today. But what I, what I also did is I... For the full episode of this short-sighted podcast, visit the Back to 2020 member forum where you have access to this and lots more short-sighted podcast episodes along with hundreds of pro topic videos I've made over the years and access to our member forum that has over 90,000 monthly visits, tons of community and resources to help you on your way to get back to 2020. Meow, 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 meow.